Hey guys, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today we're going to be talking about how much power do you really need in an electric bicycle. Now this question comes from Grant Adamson. So thanks Grant for the question. And remember, if you guys submit a question in the comments and I choose it to make a video response, then I'll send you one of my books for free. You can choose from my lithium batteries book, e-bikes, solar power, or my newest motorcycle book. All right, now let's talk about electric bicycles and how much power you need in these. Now Grant asked just about mid-drives, but I'm going to talk about mid-drives and hub motors. Now the first thing to know when you're looking at different power levels of electric bicycles is that different motors from different manufacturers are not always rated equally. What that means is that just because two manufacturers each offer a 250 watt motor does not mean that those 250 watt motors or those 250 watt e-bikes are going to be putting out similar power levels. Because of different issues with naming of motors, local laws, and different standards for testing motors, motors that are rated the same level can have very different outputs. So we're going to have to take manufacturers at their word here a bit. And when we compare bikes, we're going to talk about 250 watt e-bikes or 500 watt e-bikes, but understand that one manufacturer's e-bike might be a little stronger or weaker than another one, even at the same power level. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the first group of e-bikes, which is the 250 watt e-bike group. Now, whether you're going with a mid-drive or a hub motor, 250 watts is basically the minimum amount of power you can find in an electric bicycle. This is really good for flatland cruising. Anytime you're going to run into hills with a 250 watt e-bike, you're really going to start slowing down. It doesn't matter if you're a light rider or a heavy rider, 250 watts is just not a lot of hill climbing power. So if you're looking at a 250 watt e-bike, you'll probably do fine on flat land like bike paths or cruising along the beach, but beware of hills. Once you move up into the 500 watt e-bike group, now you're suddenly looking at maybe a little bit of hill climbing ability. Again, you're gonna slow down on hills compared to flatland, but 500 watts is about the minimum you need to get at least decent hill climbing performance for a medium weight individual. You know, we're talking somewhere in the 150 pound range or 70 kilo range. If you're above 200 pounds or so, or getting close to 100 kilos, you're gonna need more power than 500 watts to get you up a hill. Now, if we're talking about mid-drives though in the 500 watt range, mid-drives are going to be a little better at hill climbing because you can actually get better torque out of a mid-drive. You can drop the bike into a lower gear and you can climb hills better because you're using the motor in a more efficient range. Hub motors really only have one gear ratio and that means that they're gonna bog down on hills. So when you're comparing hub motors and mid-drives, 500 watts is gonna give you better hill climbing with a mid-drive than a hub motor. The next category is the 750 watt category. This is pretty standard for e-bikes in the US because it's the legal limit in many places. In Europe, you're not gonna find a lot of 750 watt e-bikes just because they don't fit the laws there. But 750 watts is where you really start to get into good power. From 750 watts, you're gonna have very nice acceleration off the line and you're gonna have better hill climbing. Now, when you're looking at flatland performance, a 750 watt e-bike isn't really gonna give you that much more than a 250 watt e-bike. The major difference is just gonna be that you're gonna get up to speed quicker. But flatland performance is not really where you feel the power difference in these e-bikes. It's hill climbing and it's acceleration. Again, in the 750 watt range, you're gonna get better torque, better hill climbing performance out of a mid-drive motor than you are from a hub motor, just because you can get that better gear ratio for really climbing hills and keeping the motor from getting too bogged down. The number of options for motors above 1,000 watts is fairly limited. You've got the Bafang BBS HD and the Bafang Ultra on the uh, mid-drive side. For hub motors, there are a number of 1,000 watt cheap hub motors from places like eBay that you can find, but you are gonna be more limited on the mid-drive side. When you get to 1,000 watts though, you're really starting to look at some impressive hill climbing ability. Even for heavier riders, 1,000 watts is gonna be a big difference compared to 500 watt or 750 watt hub motors or mid-drives. The amount of power off the line will be quite noticeable and you'll just find better performance, especially, like I said, for those heavier riders. The last group I'm gonna talk about are the 1,500 watt motors. And whether you're looking at a hub motor or a mid-drive here, 1,500 watts is gonna carry just about anybody up some pretty big hills, and it's gonna have some really nice power off the line. At 1,500 watts, you're starting to get into the realm of light electric motorcycles. Obviously, motorcycles are gonna have a lot more power, but at 1,500 watts, you're really out of the bicycle territory at this point. 
So pretty much no matter your weight, you know, unless you're just like morbidly obese, a 1500 watt bike is really gonna carry most people up some pretty significant hills and it's gonna give you some really thrilling seat of the pants kind of acceleration where you twist the throttle and you're just kind of hanging on as it takes off. Above 1500 watts, now you've really entered light electric motorcycle territory. My City Slicker electric motorcycle has a three kilowatt continuous, four kilowatt peak mid-drive motor and obviously that's gonna be a lot more powerful. The acceleration is pretty thrilling, but we're really outside of electric bicycle territory at that point. So the most you're gonna see is around 1,000 to 1,500 watts for these types of high power electric bicycle motors, whether that's hub drive or mid drive. All right, I hope I answered your question there, Grant. Anybody else who has questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. And speaking of the comments, it is time to announce the winner of last week's book giveaway. And the randomly chosen commenter is... M. Fletch. So congratulations. Let me know which one of my books you'd like. Again, you can choose from the e-bike book, batteries, solar power, or my electric motorcycle book. Let me know where to send it. And anybody else who wants to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment below, and hopefully you will be the randomly chosen commenter at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.